To connect a smartphone to Rios, the system must be configured for the incoming smartphone. To create a new Rios user, configure the user with the Rios user admin. In the configuration shown here, we have multiple Rios Lite licenses available to the system administrator. For this example, we're going to log in a Rios Lite smartphone into the Echo user. To do so, we must set up the user within the user administration first. To access user administration, select configure and user administration. In this set, I've created a group called smartphone group. With this, it'll inherit all the permissions that I've set up within the smartphone group. For example, I've given it access to Rios client, but in the Rios Lite access list, I've given these particular tabs to be shown within the Rios Lite application. You can create a new group or use one that's already configured, such as the default local. To create a new user, select the new user icon and configure these fields accordingly, based on the name of the user. The display name can be whatever you'd like to view it as in the system. In this case, I'll call it what it is, a Samsung S6. But I will give it the username as Echo. And the password can stay one. I will apply this, and I'll see this user that's created as Echo6. You may now close the user administration. The next step, you want to make sure that the system knows where you'd like for this smartphone to log into. To register the user into a specific slot, select Configuration and pick the slot where you wish to register. Select VoIP and Client Name. Pick the keyboard, input the client name that is going to be the same as the username. Select Enter. With this, we'll be able to set up the configuration on the smartphone so that every time the user registers into the particular slot. The second step in setting up a new Rios Lite user is to download and configure the application. To do so, access the application Play Store from your phone and search for Rios Lite, select it, and download. Once downloaded, you'll open and receive the login as shown here. The next step will be to add a new site. In this case, we're going to add the site with the US ID of 10136. The username will be the same that we set up in the user administration as Echo, and the password will be 1. Site name can be your choosing. I tend to use the US ID of the system, in this case, 10136. The IP address will be the IP address that the server is registered with. This can either be the Wi-Fi address, which tends to be a 192.168.0.10 address by default, or if we're using 3G, 4G, the public static address of the incoming IP connection. In this case, we use the public address that I input with my air card. In addition, I'll select the box to connect to site. I've now set up the new site for the 10.1.136 site. Pick the wrench icon, make logon site, and now I have the asterisk next to that site. Also notice that the phone is going to access the system through cellular. If you're using Wi-Fi, it'll indicate Wi-Fi. It's important to confirm that you're accessing the Wi-Fi network, or if you're using cellular, that you actually do have the connection to the cellular device. Once I get it to show the green, it'll flip over and I'll receive the incoming as such. We notice within our interface, the Echo port is now reserved, logged into with the phone of the incoming smartphone connection.